<laughs> uh, my name is Jordan. My name is James. I'm Jason. And we are Challenger Deep. Um, Atlanta will always be my home. I, uh, I grew up here. I mean, I've traveled around uh, all over the world, basically, and uh, every time I come back, um, it feels like home. It smells like home. My family's here. Um, these guys are here. <laughs> so I actually just drove from Tucson to here. I just got back today. It was really fun. And I'm, I'm, my buddy is moving from there to Miami. And uh, like the whole way we were just talking about, oh, he's from here as well. The whole way back, we were talking about how great Atlanta is, how we can't wait to get back. And uh, I mean, I've been all over the world within reason, and he definitely has, being in the military. And we were just both talking about how unique the people are here as compared with other places we live, have lived or been to. Yeah. I think that's what it means to me. Like, it's obviously home, but it's, it's, it's a unique place full of unique people. Trees. Trees. Yeah. Trees. <laughs> Some people will like be like, trees, what do you mean? I'm just because you go to like most other major cities and it's just city. Coming down here, you still feel like you're part of like the natural world a little yeah. bit, which I think is important. Like I can drive like 15 minutes and be in the middle of the woods, like on a hike with my dog, like going in a like awesome river. Atlanta also for me is like perpetually up and coming. It's like always on the rise, but like never quite risen. Never quite risen. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the traffic, that's always going to be out of control. Right. But I'm excited for like the film industry has been coming here. There's been so many opportunities for people there. I'm hoping that there will be similar opportunities for musicians and collaborating with. I know we just being an instrumental band that makes us like prime sort of. Collaborate, collaborate with like video producers and different <coughs> artists to have our music get used. Well, I like East Atlanta. Bars, venues. Uh, Argosy is pretty cool. Argosy is dope. Yeah, you got pizza. Uh, I honestly really love getting a burger at the Vortex in Little Five Points specifically. Pretty much like East Atlanta Village is you can yeah. go yeah. into like pretty much yeah. any restaurant. I guess like the bakery is the new cool spot that's like sort of the spiritual successor to Mammal Gallery and like Wonder Root and those kind of places. Cool. I went over there for like Celestigia or something. It's this event that uh, Josh Lohner put on with a bunch of people and that was like crazy. They took recy all recycled materials and like trash and like made this whole like warehouse space into this like crazy space opera sort of vibe. Oh yeah. And it was Sweet. it was nuts. It yeah. was like the place to be yeah. that weekend. They packed it out and like artists represented from the entire right. community. Um, Willow's really been cool. awesome. She's like worked really hard for that place, Willow Goldstein, uh, with the bakery. Um, she's like worked so hard to keep it going and it's it's a really big success. Yeah. Um, and Loner with the space opera man, they put on a really good show. Mm. Buckhead? Buckhead, yeah. Buckhead is, I would agree with that. Yeah. Unless you're on a rooftop pool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I would say the Atlanta music scene is it's pretty diverse. Um, I mean, we went from, you know, probably like in the early 90s, like late 80s, it was like a lot of uh, hip hop, but I think that, um, Especially the fact that we, as an instrumental band, have been able to fit in anywhere yeah. uh, is a pretty like stark contrast to that. You know, Phillips? I, I think that one of the best things is um, you can be as involved as you want to be. We have new music out now, and I'm sure things will start to ramp up, but um, you can you know, go once a week, play a show every week for a year, and uh, not slow down, or um, play as little as you want to, and uh, basically expect like, the same kind of welcome. Yeah, there's a lot of cool bands, and that's the thing, like Jordan's saying, there's so much variety. I mean, we're definitely like a rock band. Um, World's Greatest Dad is uh, probably, <coughs> probably my, uh, <laughs> my uh, favorite local band. Um, they're really awesome, and they're always uh, doing something like crazy and experimental. 
um, not necessarily with their music, um, but which is like Maddie Duncan is like a great songwriter. She doesn't really have to like rely on. Uh, I mean, she's done her experimentation. Yeah. Um, I would say if you haven't heard of or heard Little Tybee, definitely check them out. Um, I remember the first time I saw them at Star Bar. I walked in and they had just started and it blew my mind, like start to finish, and it was the most unreal thing <laughs> to me. Um, Who was the band <laughs> that you played with? Formerly Mr. Tie-Dye, and now Misnomer. They, oh yeah, and then if you're, we're going into the Athens scene, that's a whole nother, <laughs> whole nother monster. This is about Atlanta, damn it. Yeah. Atlanta. 